Thank you. So great to be back. Yes, we were off for the month of July, and I have been welcomed back by two Republican debates. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> two, did you see both Republican? How to describe this experience? Have you ever taken ecstasy? <laughs> it was the opposite of that. Okay. Uh, and they should have spaced, <laughs> I think, the two Republican debates out more because my brain was still trying to recover from the tsunami of stupid from the first one. <laughs> when I was hit by another wave. I mean, for a minute, I thought I was watching a Comedy Central roast of the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> and, oh yes, the, <laughs> the first one at the baby table, oh my gosh. Uh, the first one had Rick Perry, Carly Fiorina, Bobby Jindal, wow. You throw in Carrot Top, it was a great episode of Politically Incorrect. Uh, and then uh, there was a little break between debates, uh, during which there was one awkward moment when uh, Trump asked uh, Rubio to bring his car around. That, that, was, <laughs> that was a gaffe, I will admit. And, uh, and then the main event, and as always at Republican debates, they first brought out Reagan's skull so they could all touch it for luck. <laughs> And here's what I think is the big story from this debate. Now this, you have to understand, this debate was on Fox News. They did the polling to pick the people, and I am quite sure Roger Ailes, who runs that, and maybe America, he doesn't like Trump. The word came down, get Trump. Kill this fucking Rosemary's baby monster in its black crib. I swear, that's exactly what he said. <laughs> So they let Trump speak three times more than anybody else, and he did. He revealed himself to be nasty, boorish, sexist, ignorant, smug. What they forgot is that's what the Republicans love about him. That's, <laughs> that's why his numbers are double of the guy in second place, who's Jeb Bush. But Jeb says he doesn't mind getting the second most votes. He says that's how his brother got elected president. <laughs> Look, to understand today's Republican Party, and I know you want to, you have to understand that despite the fact that they had on the stage five governors, three senators, a brain surgeon, First and foremost, they wanted to get the opinion of Donald Trump, a ham-colored cartoon character <laughs> from I Love the 80s. I mean, <laughs> once, you, <laughs> once you accept that, the rest of the night makes perfect sense. <laughs> Mr. Trump, your thoughts on War and Peace, and then we will go to Morgana, the kissing bandit, on deficit reduction. Uh, Dr. Ruth on entitlement spending, and uh, Mr. T, what about abortion in the case of rape and incest? Uh, Beetlejuice, you have 30 seconds for a rebuttal. Uh, <laughs> but you know who Republicans are actually mad at today? The moderators. They thought they were too, I gotta give them credit, they were tough, especially Megyn Kelly went right at them. Wow, yeah, no, she can be good. She wasn't mincing words. Ben Carson, you don't know dick about anything. What are you doing here? <laughs> Trump, you're a huge sexist asshole. Marco Rubio, are you old enough to buy beer? <laughs> Scott Walker, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> you look like the kid who's carrying a dead bird in his pocket. <laughs> but you know what? After all the fireworks and the name calling and you hugged him and you hugged him, it was the, the answers were the same as ever. Muslims are coming to kill us. Mexicans are coming to rape us. And if you get impregnated by one, you have to bring it to term. <laughs> you know, that's all they have to sell, fear. Hope and change, meet pee and pants. I'm, <laughs> I mean, the entire slate of them up there seemed completely unaware of the fact that women can now vote. <laughs> you know.
<laughs> Megyn Kelly asked Trump right off the bat about Trump calling women fat pigs, dogs, and slobs. Trump's answer, I don't have time for political correctness. <laughs> He's like one of those construction workers in the 70s. They got nice tits. Oh, what, I can't compliment a lady anymore? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's crazy. They all want to get rid of Planned Parenthood, that's obvious. I mean, they talk about vaginas like they're the Northern Lights, you know. I, I've never seen it, but my friend has. I hear it's breathtaking. 